guys. <laughs> What's up at Smallmouth Crush? Whoa, whoa, settle down, Smallmouth. That's what we're doing today, drop shotting. Got Joe Spirit Shed. About 25 feet, 25 to 35. We got a slob, a saurus on. It's all coming up. Look at that beast, guys, right where he wants to be hooked. It's a nice smallmouth. It really is. searching guys so I'm just working a hump out here it comes up out of 40 feet of water on top there's some really good rock and fishing for these deep smallmouth she's in the green pumpkin gajo spirit shed got about a foot and a half liter I'm using a gamagatsu split shot drop shot size one hook 5 8 ounce weight just a lead weight, eight pound test, liter on light braid, medium light, spinning rod. And it's just a matter of going over different humps and ledges and breaks, using your electronics, and just fishing, trying to find where, where the big, you know, a nice location, nice group of big fish are. I caught that one good one here, so I, I believe there's good fish on it, but we got to sort through it. Sometimes there's a mixture of small, smaller sized fish as well as a couple of them studs. So all I'm doing is I'm looking at my maps and you see these contour lines here. I'm just idling, looking for fish. Simple as that. Now I have my side image on and there's a lot of bare bottom. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing. They'll still set up on that. But I'm really looking for some nice rock and things like that along some of these brake lines. And then of course I have my 2D over here. So if I do see some fish, like right there, and right there, I'll know, hey, maybe we need to set up on it. You can see we're starting to see some stuff. It's mostly barren. But that does have some potential. Monster, oh, ho, ho, my gosh. This is a pig, guys. This is a pig. Whoa, look at him. Oh, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious, boss? You just did that? You just bit that gajo like you didn't want it. Wow. Nice fish. Well, there's a six. It's heavy six. Wow, beautiful fish. All right, guys, back. Back at home, just rigging up. I want to talk to you about some of those deep fish that I was catching today. I ended up actually going shallow uh, later on that day and was able to catch some pretty good fish shallow as well. And if I wanted to, I could certainly continue patterning that deep bite. But it literally takes hours and hours and hours, a lot of time. So your body of water, you want to pick out areas that look like they should hold fish. 
tight contour lines, large flats, humps, main lake points, whatever the case may be. And you just have to go over and idle. If you have good electronics, you'll be able to have it set up where you'll actually be able to see those fish when you're idling over them. And then you can set up and actually get ready to drop down to them, which is a fun way to fish. And so my setup for when I'm dropping down, I, I talked a little bit about in the video, and I've, I've explained this setup before. It hasn't changed. This is what I've been doing for years. I use a St. Croix, a Legend Extreme, seven foot, medium light, when I'm dropping straight down to them or making, you know, somewhat just deep water fishing, it's going to be the medium light. When I'm casting or I'm shallow drop shotting, I'll use a medium because I feel it gives me a little bit better hook set. But with this medium, it's got a real nice tip to it, which is going to really bend over because when you set that hook, these fish today, you would drop it down, you would just feel, you'd feel the rod get heavy and that would just reel into them. So I'm using uh, a 3000, now who's calling me? Epic Eric again, can't get rid of that guy. So I'm using a 3000 spool uh, reel, it's a, uh, the Stratic, Shimano Stratic, light braid, you know, five, 10 pound test, because I really like a small diameter. So when I'm dropping down, I can get that bait. I think a smaller diameter line is gonna get down to them quicker. I'm not concerned, I mean, it's strong. You, you can't physically break this braid with your hands practically. And then I'm gonna use a six, eight. I don't go too much more than eight because I think it, again, I want it to, I want, I want to be able to get down as quick as possible. So I'm using eight pound fluorocarbon leader. I don't know what I got, I just re-rigged this. I got, what is that, 15 feet leader. And I went a little bit longer here because tomorrow I got a little different plan. I'm gonna let that bait really sit and uh, see if I can get those fish to bite because I, I found some fish and I dropped it down to them and I think I was working the bait just a little bit too quick and I think I need to just let it sit there, let that bait fall, bring it up real slow and maybe get a few more bites. But I'm using the heaviest weight I can find, you know, five eighths, half ounce, three quarter, whatever you need. Uh, I just use, I just get a bunch of bulk, cheap lead weights. I, I use tungsten when I'm in a tournament or when I'm fishing shallow and kind of need to feel what's going on down there. But for what I'm doing out here, because you lose so many and you know, when the fish jumps, they'll, they'll throw the weight. I just buy them in bulk and I'm good to go. You know, a hundred count bag that'll last me a week, give or take. Gamagatsu, split shot, drop shot, hook, size one or two, depending on the bait. I've been using the Gajo Spear Chads, guys. I got a whole box of them here. I don't know, any color works. Black, black's a great color. Smoke purple. The green pumpkin, and I just nose hook it. So I'm just nose hooking that bait on that hook. It's very, very simple setup. And then once I see one on the graph, I drop it down to him, and I just wait. Give it a couple shakes. If that fish is in the mood, he's gonna bite. Chances are, they're gonna be in the mood. So that's the deal. Simple as that. Well, hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave any likes and comments below. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.